good morning. Oh my God, I feel like my legs are getting skinnier. Well, it's either, either, let me see. Either it's the, I want it to go down, not up. <laughs> okay. Either my legs are getting skinnier or these things are too big. I don't know. I have tighter ones, but I I just don't like the way my thighs look. They used to be, they used to be, I have some like things under here. These, you see me wear these before. These are, these, I like to have something to hold my stomach nice and firm a little bit. But these, I, I, I had to wear loose clothes because, oh my God, the sunburn was just, I, I just couldn't wear anything tight or anything because the sunburn was just, oh my God. I, I It was just burning my whole body. So right now I'm gonna try, um, my grandson is taking a bath right now, a shower, so. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to, he's done, I don't hear anything. So hopefully he is done. Okay, throw this out. So good morning, everybody. Good morning. Everybody's getting up. It's so funny, my grandson has to go to work. <laughs> it just sounds so funny saying that. Like I said, he's only 14 years old. And then my uh, my daughter is in the hospital. Um, she's okay. She's doing fine. It's just that she has she had another um, she had a high fever. So she had to end up going to the hospital. She's fine though. You know, not, no major worries, thank God. Okay, get that closed. Where's the... Get this going. Yeah, and then my granddaughter, she has to go to... She has to go to the school, so everybody's doing a little something. I'm just trying to, what do you call it? Oh, we're having Swedish meatballs today, so I'll have to get on that. Okay, one thing about this having a top, it smells really bad. 
I'm like, I don't know if this might be a good idea. But I'm just gonna have to dump it every night and wash it. I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. Cause just like the garbage, right? I shouldn't have this like this. Should dump it every night. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I got that going ahead and do my makeup on the table because again, he was in the bathroom. Alright, still trying to hopefully he'll be out. Yeah, my my shoulder, my the back blades on my shoulders still hurt. I mean, they don't hurt that bad, but they do. They're still, they're, they don't hurt, they're itchy. Yeah, they're just really, really, really itchy. Yeah. So, okay, let me get started on this. Take him out. It's not, not, I mean, he can go out, but the thing is, when he comes in, he's gonna, he's gonna be all wet, and then I have to dry him down, and, uh, and then he will have that wet dog smell for sure. this whole corner. That's it. 
Ah, uh, oh, you could just hear the thunder out there. to get used to it because that I didn't put that much sugar so every time I put like less sugar then I had to get used to the taste I shouldn't you let me see we have to be able to put one tastes better than the, the yellow one. Let me see if this makes a difference. Okay, another spoon to wash it later. Yeah, now it's already going through a hard time. I was, you know, because yesterday I was cleaning a little bit and I said, oh no, there they go. There's the there's the fruit flies starting already. That's why I have to I'm gonna have to clean this every night. Every night it's gonna happen. Okay, all right, let's try this again. A little bit better. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to get a green box as well. So Eating a lot of chips, a lot of donuts, a lot of, a lot. <sighs> so I gotta cut back on that. Um, okay. So, okay, so I'm done here. So, um, yeah, so I'm gonna do a tea time Tuesday today, trying to stay back on track on the calendar, on my craft calendar. I haven't been making anything, which I'm very upset. I am gonna dig out my dowels. My, I have, I have a lot of barbie dowels now. Now, like, where were those Barbie dolls when I was seven, eight years old? Now I have a whole bunch of them. But anyway, I'm gonna use them as um, as a mold. So I'm gonna get as many as I can out, and I'll probably just do three or maybe just I'm just gonna dig out two of them. I don't want to do that many, and um, and then start making the molds for the um, the dress forms, and um, and start start you know getting creative and start working on the dress forms, the, the, the little ones and the tall ones. And then, um, and then of course, I, I was supposed to do earrings the other day and I do it, but I got the earring, the, I got the, um, the set out. Cause it's summer, I wanna, I wanna have, cause lately I've been putting my hair up. I don't put earrings on when I have my hair down, but you can't see them. But when I put my hair up, then I'm like, okay, now I need earrings. So when I put my hair, because it's summertime, uh, the ones that I have are purple, and I like, I want something more colorful because it's summer, so I'm gonna make some yellow ones. I'll show you how they'll look like when I'm done. Um, I have not touched my porcelain clay, and I made it not too long. I think I made it last month, right? I haven't touched it. I'm very upset about that. And like I said, I'm like, I need to get back on the, on the craft board. And the same thing with, um, uh, Saturday night threads. Thing is, with, with crocheting, is that I, <laughs> just the idea of putting the blanket on my lap right now because it's too hot. It's like <laughs> that's the last. I'm I'm hot as it is. I don't want to put wool on top of me too. You know what I'm saying? So I have to think of to think of to do lighter, lighter things, not not so heavy, not so many heavy material. So I have to work on that. Um, I, I do want to order those spacers though, even though I really don't have to order them. I got the paper clothes. I really don't have to. I'm, tr I'm trying not to buy things unnecessarily. But um, um, yeah, so again, trying to stay back on track, back on, you know, doing what I need to do because I, I miss, be oh, I have to, I have to uh, dress up my card and get that ready. I need to mail out a birthday card, so I have to get that. 
then I was supposed to run to um, to uh, a fast um, a bakery. So okay, let me get this day started. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to go today. I'm gonna try to hurry up and get everything done so I can mail out the card either by this afternoon or no later than tomorrow morning. Yeah. Okay, guys. So, um, oh, you found one. Oh, yeah. You remembered it. I, I know I had one. Yeah. So. What is it? Coco Chanel? Yeah. Hey, Coco. <laughs> okay. Cute. Okay. So, yeah, she was asking me for a little purse. And I was like, I don't have a little purse. I'm, I'm so glad she found me back there. You know, some of the things that I save, a lot of things that I throw out. But things like that I always keep because I don't want, you know, you never know. You just never know. Okay, guys, that's it for today. So, you're always welcome to like, uh, subscribe, and definitely, um, if you wish, to comment. So, um, okay, I'm always saying everything backwards. So, <laughs> never, never, I never know which way I'm going. But, um, okay, let me get this day started. I think I'm just going to enjoy it. Now, see, these are the days I want to watch a haunted movie. And I already watched all of them. Midnight Mass was okay. Wasn't great, but it was okay. I give it like three stars. That's about it. I haven't seen anything else. Oh, I'm finally watching Oppenheimer. It's on Prime. So the other movies I think I was talking about, I'm not the haunted ones. Either they were on Max or they were on Midnight Mass was on Netflix. The other haunted movies I watched, I think those were on Max. So yeah. I wasn't sure which word where they were, but I'm finally watching Oppenheimer. I've been wanting to watch it ever since it came. You know, it was coming out in theaters, but it's a little bit, you know. I didn't like, already I didn't like some of the scenes, and I was like, okay, that, they didn't have to do that. But um, I guess it's supposed to go along with the story, but really, really, did you really, really have to do a scene like that? Yeah. Okay, guys, let me let you go. Let me make sure these kids are out the door. See if I can find two. Well, my granddaughter's going to name them. Well, she says she's going to run to the school with just a hoodie. I don't know about that one. Let me see if I can find her umbrella. Okay, guys, we will see you in a bit. Okay, here we are. The lonely boot. <laughs> I don't know where the other one's at. But <laughs> okay. Anyway, I rewashed my hair. Here we are. Oh my god, so I already washed my hair and I am going to what do you call it? Um get started on my devotional. Like I said, I think I missed like 10 days already. The lonely flower. But um I'm like okay. What I like to do is that I like to come out here and uh air dry my hair. This way it won't be too look, <laughs> look at all these weeds popping up from the ground. <laughs> So I won't, it won't take me long to dry my hair with the blow dryer. And I can do a, a quick dry, a blow out, get my red. You know, for some reason, I thought yesterday was Monday. And I was like, oh no, I was supposed to read and it's already getting late. And I'm watching the Midnight Mass. And I was going to stop at 8.30 and read for an hour. That didn't happen. So then I was like, oh man. And then, oh. So I was getting all upset. But then, hold on, wait. There's, sometimes there's this dog over here. It's like a pit bull. Oh, Jesus. And um, so anyway, but then I started looking at the, uh, because I have to, I'm going to be sending out one of my homemade cards. And uh, I said, I have to make a card. Well, I don't have to make it. I just have to adjust it and make it look prettier and then i'm going to send it out but uh yeah so here i am you know thinking that um you know hold on wait i had all this time and then i realized and i was like oh, wait a minute i'm looking at the calendar like oh wait it's only the 22nd today's sunday tomorrow's monday i go oh I could read tomorrow and get ready for Tea Time Tuesday because I haven't done Tea Time Tuesday. I haven't done Saturday Night Threads. I haven't done Faith Night Friday. June was a bad start, guys. A bad start. So I said, okay, you know, 
now that the kids are getting up early again i'm getting up early it, it's just i don't know sometimes i feel like you know i was a lot more harder with my grandkids than i am with, than i was with my own kids i don't know what it is it's like god's giving me a second chance to parent and i was like I, i'm not saying i'm not perfect guys i i wasn't a perfect mom i tried i tried to be like the donna reese show you know be a good wife do all the house cleaning and you know making sure all the kids were fed and taken to school but it wasn't perfect you know i did my bad things you know i did i did a lot of drinking in my days and other substances <laughs> you know and i yeah i was a far you know taking advantage of life taking advantage of what i can get away with i'm not perfect and i never ever will ever claim to be perfect i'm not but this thing about having a second chance to parent believe it or not is keeping me um keeping me on my toes actually so um you know i'm happy about that but because they have to my my grandson is already starting to work he started his first his birthday is today and it's going to be for six weeks and he can't miss a day or be late otherwise he won't get paid and then my granddaughter, she has a whole week of uh, of going to school for a whole week. Come on, he's there. Oh, come on, let's go this way. So she had to be at school. She had to be at school. Wait, it's a car. She had to be at school at nine o'clock. So I'm like, okay. So for that reason, I had to get up. I had to get up at seven o'clock to make sure everybody was up. I had to make, come on, move over. I had to make sure my, um, my, what do you call it? My, my grandson was, oh man, what's with all these cars this morning? <laughs> so what well, is Monday morning? Everybody's got, got the things to do. But uh, yeah, like I said, I'm not, you know, oh, there's that, there's that doggy. Yeah, he shouldn't be without at least I don't I don't like him being loose. I'm so scared he's gonna attack my dog. Anyway, so um, yeah, so they get me up in the morning, and and you know e even when it comes to you know being faithful and you know trying to stay on course with my devotionals, you know I. Like I said, I'm not perfect. And I I have known, or actually, the Lord has known me since the day of birth. <laughs> Probably even before I was conceived. But yeah, look, all these cars. But I've known the Lord ever since I was like, wait, I was like seven years old. And yeah, and, and, and look, I'm 60, okay? I'm 60 years old right now. Did I backslide? Oh, heck yeah, I backslid. Man, I backslid a lot. I backslid when I was a kid. I backslid, if you know what backsliding is, you know, if you're into, you know, um, reading the word. I backslid when I was a teenager. I backslid when I was a, a, a pre-adult. I backslid when I was um, an adult. And there was a lot of times, I'm not, but I keep trying. I'm not giving up, you know. I'm still, you know, I'm, I'm maybe because I'm getting closer to the end. <laughs> maybe that's why I'm trying harder. <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, I had my days, you know. So I'm gonna give this up. I'm gonna. Give, I gave up a lot of stuff. I did. But um, you know, and, and I'm still trying. I'm still trying. But uh, yeah, just. Trying to get that out there and let you guys know I am not in no shape or form perfect. But I'm doing the best that I can for myself. I'm trying to do the best I can for my grandchildren, for my children. Although they all, all are adults. And believe it or not, even with my... It was just, it's just so funny because 
I would never ever let my grand my my children go anywhere when they were 14 by themselves on the bus or a train. And here I am, I feel comfortable, you know, sending my grandson, you know, and he's like, you know, on, on the bus. And he's like, don't worry about me. I got this, I'm fine. I'm like, okay, but if you can get back to me, because they have phones, but they won't be, um, they won't start being online until Friday, but they do have phones. And I said, okay. You know, but if it would have been my kids, I would have had no, but I feel very, no, I'll be nice. I, I just feel, oh, my glass, you know, every time I look like wearing flip-flops in the alley. So, um, but, and he's, and there's a lot of people that I've known that started working when they were 14. I mean, I had this one friend, she was, oh yeah, I, I started living on my own when I was 16. I started working when I was 14. You know, when, when people have to do what they got to do, they don't wait for other people to do things for them. They get it done. So I was very, very proud of her. Her name was Sherry. That's so funny. I have a girl upstairs. Her name is Sherry. That's so funny. Anyway, so there's a lot of people. And I'm so proud of my grandson. He's like, I got this. I got this. I said, okay. But if you can, please, please. Try to, you know, use the school phone and let me know that you got there safely. But, uh, and then, <laughs> and then my, my, their uncle has like, they're good, they'll be fine, you worry too much, and blah, blah, blah. I said, I can't help but they're kids, you know? He goes, ah, he'll be okay. <laughs> See, and that, that's how I, I've never done that with my children when they were younger. I was like, no. It's too dangerous, you know. Oh, always, always babying them, right? Always. Okay, come on, we gotta go. Always babying them. <laughs> but like I said, they do keep me on my toes. So, okay, guys, I'm gonna call it quits here because I'm already ten minutes, almost ten minutes in, and I gotta um give this puppy some water. Okay, guys, we'll see you in a bit.